This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. Mm, too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Now, where did they go? It's the witch! What is she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her prince charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it, so that I can complete what I have started. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. I ought to kill you instead. Ho oh, ho! Do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! This door looks built to withstand quite a determined assault. The door won't close. It fits almost perfectly. Oh, that's just super. The door latch is broken.
never believed in hell until Am captured me. But this devil looks like the real article. I've never seen such dark and mysterious eyes. And he won't take them off Ellen for a second. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like school children? Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see, or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Please, go away! Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. Ted. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture. I'm sorry, Ellen. I can't find your mirror. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare, or I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is... Kala Ingma Thako. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thako! Ah, <sighs> I suddenly feel so... 
so sleepy. Why'd you have to finish the circle? Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him, a part that he doesn't know exists. What kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir, doors to another world. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. Can you lock the castle's front door? Do I look like a higher order demon to you? I can only unlock doors. I can't lock them. Can you open a gate into the surface world? Now that's a tall order. And the only thing you've got is a little love. Not exactly true love, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people, more or less. You say... Love has trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. Betray your love for Ellen, give me her soul, and I'll open the gate to the surface world. Let me think about your offer. Don't think too long, human. There are other players in this game, and I won't be able to keep my offer open forever. The door's locked. Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. Ah, that's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task. One not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? Must be the servants' quarters. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. This is so cracked, I can barely see myself. bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right, I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. 
I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good. Someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. There's a hand mirror right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hid it. Ted. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. so tired and empty. It's time to sleep. Sleep forever. She is dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. Should hold on to this. It may prove. Don't give that mirror to me, human. My hands aren't exactly made for handling delicate objects, and it would be disastrous to break such a powerful device. No, it might push back. I should hold on to this. It may prove useful. I've eaten many foul things. You're as good as your word. The maid's bedroom was unlocked. Would I lie? I'm a demon after all. Now, 
fulfill your end of the bargain and let me out of here. Ellen's dead. It's too late for me to give you her soul. You fool! You listened to one of Am's manifestations, didn't you? Now you have to find something else to trade. I already gave you something. Some drops of my blood. You call that a fair exchange? That supposedly blue blood of yours is as worthless as the counterfeit bill. No, we must work out another trade, one where the stakes are high. How about taking the witch's soul instead? No, I don't want that old hag. I want something that you value. Ellen's dead. You fool! Now you have to. Don't give that. My hands are. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? I brought you some company, Sir God. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything! Shut up! You shut up! One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say holy Moses! I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble! Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon! I'm the established character! You're not even supposed to be here! When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human... Ted, let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine, I can do this! Let me out before this pompous oath bores me to death! Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to account. Too bad, Ted. <laughs> Writhe in sweet agony with the knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. No, not ever again. Listen carefully, humans. We are not Am. We are others within Am. We are your friends. Am hope to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. Instead, with our help, you surprised him over and over. When Em tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, it widened the hole into his realm. Am has withdrawn into himself, attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack. But we can send only one of you into his REM space at a time. To send you into cyberspace, we must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. This may be your only opportunity to end your tortures. Which of you will lead the attack? <laughs>